As in the previous films, let's move forward with the requests you've sent us over the past year. Many of you have asked us why it costs so much, in other words, so expensive, a puppy dog with a pedigree from a good kennel. In some extreme cases, the question was directly, how can you ask for more than $1,000 for a puppy, and what is the reason for this? So let's take a look at this topic and take a look at what is the economics of dog breeding nowadays, to put it badly. Before we get to the point, we would like to state two things. The first, yes, we know that dog shelters are full of dogs waiting to be rescued and welcomed, and like you, we feel very sorry for them. We tried our best to help these dogs with videos, but this part is not about these dogs. Secondly, the old debate about whether it is worth buying a purebred dog or choosing mixes is also not the subject of this film. We and many experts have already expressed their opinions on this channel about this question. We will not answer these two topics, as this film is not about these, in the comments section either. As a starting point, we should accept the fact that a significant number of prospective dog owners who are thinking about buying a dog do set the goal of purchasing a purebred dog from kennels that have exhibition results, provide health guarantees, and keep parents and puppies in the right conditions. Even today, these same people are surprised that the price of a puppy corresponding to the above-mentioned expectations cost many thousand dollars, or euros, if we are talking about Europe. Well, if we talk about the background of the price of puppies, we need to mention two main areas that have a major role in pricing. The first of these two, which almost all puppy buyers ignore or simply overlook, is the tremendous costs of the given kennel and the breeding dogs that live there. If, for example, we take a breeding stock of 8 to 10 dogs as a basis, the cost of proper and responsible keeping of so many dogs can reach $50,000 to $100,000 annually. And what do these costs come from? First of all, in a quality kennel, the dog's living conditions should be perfect, fortunately we do not live in the age where dogs were kept in wood logs, holes in the ground, or other clumsy places. In the case of properly designed kennels, there are serious infrastructural and overhead costs, which, of course, are paid by the breeder. Then, dogs have to eat, and it doesn't matter what they eat, whether we are talking about kibbles or raw feeding. Depending on the size, feeding a breeding animal costs thousands of dollars per month per dog. Dog show results are increasingly expected on the part of the customers, which greatly influences the perception of the kennel. Whatever we think of the importance of shows, whether we think this is right or irrelevant, most breeders calculate with the costs of the shows. Going to shows is not a cheap activity, including travel and accommodation costs and the maintenance costs of a transport vehicle of sufficient size. In addition, there are entry fees, which in Europe, typically range from 150 to 200 euros per dog. When it comes to kennel costs, don't forget about health care costs, vaccinations, genetic screenings that are already available and in some cases compulsory for many breeds. In our days, the price of the complete screening is quite close to $1,000 or more. Just to give an example of health costs, the cost of our own Kaini Corzo sports injury, which was a knee ligament correction, the costs of the surgery and the after treatment was close to the former price of the puppy, what was 1,000 euros. And such injuries occur in all kennels. In the case of other items, such as dog grooming, nutritional supplements, the training of working dogs, or the costs of show handlers are not even listed. So let's move on to the second area, which is the direct costs associated with the birth and first eight weeks of the puppies. When a litter is born, the costs are beginning to accumulate. Puppies must be registered, chipped, and then the vaccination program should be done. Each item has a separate cost, which, of course, is a price-increasing factor in the price of puppies. By the age of eight weeks, puppies undergo a series of vaccinations, which are also not given by the veterinarian out of love. After four weeks of age, in addition to suckling, puppies will also need a dietary supplements, the price of which is also not kept low by pet food manufacturers. Another serious hidden cost item that future dog owners usually don't even think of, is that, a puppy litter should be carefully supervised, which is, in time and energy mean almost a full-time job. Many conscientious breeders, as we know them, go to these periods on unpaid leave, which is, of course, a cost, since it entails a loss of income. We would finish the list at this point, although we are aware that a lot of other cost types have been left out. 
Maybe that was enough to give you a picture of what makes up the price of a quality and healthy, well-handled puppy. Dog breeders are not sacred persons and of course, we should not feel sorry for them, but the right quality comes at a price, and the majority of the costs are reimbursed into puppy prices.